Right, okay, so this is a quick video. Um, over the last day, well, pretty much two days really, I've been filming my uh, Pinning Down Cavendish series. I, I, I'd like to thank everybody who's watched it and all of you who've commented on the like these videos. I'm, I'm uh, so glad that you found it informative. Um, I hope none of it was misleading. I hope I haven't put any, any, false, any false information out there. But it's it's such a complicated subject. I mean, the more you think about it, the more issues that but more problems that spring up. I tried to make it a quick sort of 10 minute video but you can't. It's such a deep and complex, um, deep and complex, complex sort of um, classification of tobacco. So many things come under Cavendish. You don't even think of them as Cavendish. Like I was saying in, the, in um, some of the videos, like Navy, Navy rolls are a Cavendish. Um, you've also got things like University Flake is in essence a Cavendish. It just hasn't been cut. So, moving away from that subject, because I'm sure you've all had enough of me talking about Cavendish tobaccos, I want to come on to a few shout-outs first, really. Uh, welcome back to The Pipe Is Right. Good to, good to hear from you again. Sorry, if you, sorry about the bad news. Um, I hope that you managed to find a job and there's a solution so you can keep going to the school that you're going to. So I wish you all the best on that one, mate. Take care. Um, Big thanks to everybody who's been subscribing to my channel. I'm up to about 68 subscribers now. I've had a lot of video reviews. I only had a little bit of negative feedback, and that's the result of me moving my hands around too much and being too much like a dodgy car salesman. Bit of a devil boy. Um, and there is one question I've got to ask all of you out there. Now, when somebody new is taking up the pipe, what do you suggest as a tobacco to give for them? I mean, the instinct is to go for kind of an American style aromatic that's very smooth, very easy to smoke, doesn't bite very much, got a lovely room note, nice sweet flavour, not too much nicotine, <coughs> which is typically what I suggest to people. But I did come across an idea a couple of years ago where <coughs> somebody suggested try giving them things like, like aromatics, tobaccos that do burn the tongue. By getting people to start off on these style of tobaccos it, it, surely it's better in the long run it, it teaches people to smoke slow to pack their pipe correctly don't smoke it too fast basically just teaches you good good skills for pipe smoking if you start off on a dark tobacco and you've been smoking black cavendishes with bits of lighter tobaccos in there you've been smoking them for four or five years you then go on to a lighter tobacco it's going to burn your mouth to pieces and you've been smoking it, the, the dark tobacco is the same way for five years. You then moved on to a lighter tobacco and it tears your mouth apart. Whereas if you start off on the lighter tobacco and then move on to a darker tobacco, it's a lot cooler and it's easier to smoke. The only drawback starting off on a light tobacco is it might put a lot of people off. So I just basically want a few other people's feedback on, on what's the best starting point really. Um, do you stop people off on sweet aromatics? A lot of people who come into the shop, their wives, their girlfriends, their family, won't let them smoke inside. The second they pull out some sweet American heavily cased cherry and vanilla or cherry tobacco, everybody loves it. So basically just your thoughts. What's your suggestion on a great good styles of tobaccos to introduce people to? Like I say, I'm, I'm torn. I tend to give people more darker, sweet aromatics, smooth and cool, slow burning, a great introduction, but I say a lot of these people get stuck on that tobacco, they try and smoke something a bit different, it burns their tongue, characteristics are completely wrong, and they put it down to the tobacco, not the way that they're smoking it. So yeah, any feedback, any suggestions anybody, let me know, and again, thanks to everybody for watching, thanks to everybody for subscribing, thanks for your comments, your messages, people visiting my blog. I'm so, so proud to be a part of the pipe smoking community now on YouTube. Thank you all. You're all so welcoming. I'm, I'm gobsmacked. So yeah, I'll, I'll be back very soon and uh, next time I won't be smoking a cigarette, I promise. I know a few of you uh, die-hard cigar and pipe fans out there kind of disapprove to this form of tobacco, but um, as, my blog, as my blog is named, I'm Glenn and I like tobacco. And I like all tobaccos, every aspect of tobacco, even electronic cigarettes, I'll just admit that, but all tobaccos. So again, see you all very, very soon, and thank you all, all, all of you, for all of your kind words. Thank you.